Good afternoon, Ms. Moore. Good afternoon. I call the Soul School Board Station in the door. First thing on the agenda is uh, new business, and that's the next official business. Yes, sir. Thank you. So we have a few items that I want to be kind of sequential in. The first order of business here is welcoming new board member, Coach Mr. Bill Hoagland, that we all know well. So I'll back, back up a little bit. <laughs> He's been officially certified. This is his, even though this isn't the first official, when you get certified, he's, he's allowed to come in as soon as he's certified. So, welcome to the board and thank you for, for your service to come and your service previously as well. Uh, with them, we have a different board matter at hand here. We have two separate items that we need to, to handle. Uh, the first one, they look similar, they're certified copies of resolutions to, to be legal. The first one I want for us to handle is the certified copy that has the now therefore be it resolved in the middle and it has a blanks for the votes mm -hmm. and then the appointment okay so the second word of business is uh, really why we're here today uh, miss tiny johnson had 35 years of service with us um, all the way through since 1989 i believe recently passed and in that her son who we all know mr harris who works with us uh, does a great job on the elementary campuses as a social worker is here uh, and said he wanted to be here. So there's two parts to this. One is the fiscal designee part. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Ms. D approached me on Thursday or Friday and was, this is a, an emergency, which it is. And so we're gonna go ahead and appoint or have and vote for another fiscal designee. We'll send this in to DFNA to make sure that we're certified for all checks and vouchers that we need to submit go ongoing. Uh, and in addition to that, Ms. Johnson's funeral will be this Saturday, and Mr. Harris has asked if the representative will uh, kind of speak on, on her behalf or have a resolution. Obviously, we'll have the resolution ready. We have a first draft of a resolution here, so that's the second item that you'll see pertaining mm -hmm. to Ms. Johnson. Uh, we can modify and adjust how we need to as long as we have an official resolution that is therefore certified by you guys. We can then move forward and, and make sure it's a, a nice presentation to commemorate her service of the district. And then lastly, we, we have something that does not pertain to that sort of board business, and we'll handle that later. So the first piece would be the vote for fiscal designee. The resolution is there just for good measure, and so uh, Board President, I'll submit to you for any uh, process that you want to do for fiscal designee for the school district. Okay. So, do you remember the Give any kind of explanation about the responsibility. They're pretty simple, but Misty can, can describe it to you. It's really pretty simple. Your name is just on the check. That really is all it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. As a representative of the board. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, that being said, I'm going to make a motion as to who we want to be at the end of the meeting. I would like to nominate Margaret Moss. I would second that. So, <laughs> it's third. <laughs> it's, been, it's been moved by Ms. Dix, the second by Mr. Powers, that we select Ms. Moss as our board designee. Those are very show by your hands. Ms. Moss, you had any objections prior to that? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Uh, with that being said, uh, the board board is unanimous. All right, so Mr. Hampton, if you would, we'll take your copy as the yes, official. Sir. And so yeah. if you would put 6-0 over there and then put Ms. Moss's name in that blank. And then we'll get your signature and Ms. Dickinson's signature as well. And then we'll get that to Ms. Flowers and we'll start the process, which will begin immediately after the board meeting today. If you have time, if you could go over to uh, Farmers Bank and Trust and make sure that you get your signature on file. I think uh, Ms. Flowers also has a document for you to sign. Thank you very much. Uh, next thing is an alternate. Right. And so in addition, let the alternate is written. So that is very prudent to do so. So we had a 35-year tenure with Ms. Johnson, and we did not have an alternate on file. And the last time we even thought about that was many, many years ago. So um, we would entertain a motion for any alternate that we have on file officially. If for some reason, this Moss is no longer able to do the job. Well, with that being the case, I would suggest to make the motion that we choose a younger person. <laughs> <laughs> so I would nominate uh, Mr. Corbin, being the 
I believe he's the youngest person <laughs> in the board. With me holding office, would that already mess anything up? I don't believe so. But I probably should belt and suspenders that before we officially do that. So there's nobody else. I'm going to do that. If, if that's, can we, we see to start off? Yeah, you can for this board. Oh, okay, well, okay. Well, I don't know that, but without, I don't know, but without. Oh, you sure did. <laughs> but that's okay. I, I don't mind. David Bowers. Uh, okay, that's fine. David Bowers. Sure. Uh, alternate. And again, that would be the alternate, so no official that's designation. Alternate. Right. alternate, that's the alternate. I'm sorry, I didn't. Mean, this person. Do you need a second on that? Second. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's been moved by Ms. Moss, seconded by Mr. Courtney. And Ms. Bowers, who's selected as the alternate. Uh, fiscal designee, those by the bills and papers, show by show in. And we're All right, thank you for that. Yes. The next piece still pertains to the board seat, and Ms. Johnson, this is more, I was gonna wait until the 22nd, but there is a kind of an official way to do this. We wanna make sure and do this in a timely manner. Uh, the second certified copy of the resolution is for just acknowledgement of Ms. Johnson's service to the board and her place in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Harris and I have already spoken a little bit this morning about anything we wanna add. Um, we're considering this the first draft of this, as long as you give permission to make any modifications uh, of facts that may be required. Um, and we need to talk about it with members of the board. So um, just, you know, for the sake of the public, I think it's good to know kind of where we are. Uh, I could definitely read this on my doing, but if anybody on the board would like to read it instead, feel free at this time. Okay. So whereas the Board of Education of Hope Public Schools, Arkansas, met in special session on April 1st, 2024 at 1 p.m. in the HPS Administration Building in Hope, Arkansas, whereas the Board wishes to recognize and commemorate Board Member Bonnie Johnson's service to the students and staff of Hope Public Schools, and whereas Ms. Johnson was born July 27, 1948 in Hope, Arkansas, where she was raised and whose citizens she devoted her time and energy to helping throughout her lifetime, and whereas Ms. Johnson was first elected to the board in September 1989 and served the citizens of Zone 1 without interruption until she passed away on March 28, 2024. And whereas during her 35 years of service to HPS, Ms. Johnson was a fierce and unwavering advocate for every student. And whereas in 2019, Ms. Johnson was honored by the Arkansas School Board Association for her 30 years of dedicated service to public education in Arkansas. And whereas, in addition to her service to HBS, Ms. Johnson was also involved in her community and served as an active pastor in Golf Chapel in McCaskill, Arkansas for many years. And whereas Ms. Johnson was a loving mother to her four children and also acted as a foster parent for over 20 years for children in Hope and Hempstead County. Now therefore be it resolved that the Board of Education of Hope Public Schools hereby recognizes Ms. Bonnie Johnson for her life of service and dedication Public Education in Hope, Arkansas, and offers the district's condolences to her children, family, and friends, and all those lives who positively impacted by her life of service dated this first day of April 2024. And so obviously we, we could go on and on and on and say much more about Ms. Johnson's service. I think now would be the appropriate time just as board members to think about any language that we would want to put in this resolution and to give them permission and definitely add that in the back end. So, Board comments, thoughts before we move to any sort of vote. Comments? I don't I, Go ahead. Uh, I don't have anything to add to the resolution, but I do want to say to Mr. Harris and her family that I offer my sympathy and condolences to you all. I've known uh, well, I worked with uh, your mom for about two and a half years on the board. But I've known her for a long time, and she was my granddaddy's first babysitter. <laughs> and um, I do appreciate all the service that your mother gave to our community and to the board. And uh, you all, I pray that God will give you all comfort during this difficult time. Thank you. Well, I like that. Uh, I've known you for years since I was probably in grade school when y'all lived in the stands. Mm -hmm. So we go back to a whole bunch of long roads together. But I appreciate you, mother. I sent Keisha a message online. I'm sure you know, but 
but I do as well. Uh, offer my sympathies and, and let you know that if there's anything I can do as a person or we can do as a board, please feel free to bring us. I, I, I don't know if you have a great phone number, but I will make sure you have that. So if there's anything at any point, even if it's just an end of a listening ear, just be, feel, feel free to call me. Okay, thank you. And I think I was just going to add that, you're, as you know, your mother was the closest thing to an institution this school district <laughs> and what, what I would say about her and it was certainly my privilege to serve with her on two different occasions in the early 2000s and since I came back on board in 17 I would tell you that we didn't always agree but we agreed a lot and the way that this is supposed to work in my opinion is that you should have good, honest debate and disagreement Absolutely. and agreement. And the great thing about mine was this board, there was never any such thing as a rubber stamp with mine on the board. <laughs> and she did question, but that's good. And mm -hmm. that's certainly uh, something that she added to this board. She kept all of us on our toes. And uh, so we will miss her greatly as the institution she was. And I know personally and for a fact that her children loved her deeply and greatly along with her grandchildren and, and so many people in this community. So thank you for your mother, Willie, and pass that along to uh, your sisters. And uh, again, uh, may she rest in peace because uh, she has certainly left a legacy for us all to admire. Thank you. You know, if there are people in the community that don't have a Biden Johnson story, <laughs> they haven't been paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> um, she was a real advocate for her family, and I always appreciated her. Mm -hmm. um, she's uh, a voice that had to be heard, mm -hmm. and I appreciate that about her. Thank you. And thank you for sharing her with us. Yes, indeed. Now, if there are no changes to the resolution, yes, ma'am. I'll try to say something. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> she, uh, she was my buddy right here. She was right beside me. Uh, before uh, I started serving on the board, she sat beside my husband, Denny. Mm -hmm. And Denny would come home every once in a while and tell a story or two about her. <laughs> and then when I came on the board, well, uh, she she roll over to me sometimes, and she tell me a few stories about Denny. <laughs> <laughs> things, things they talked about, and everything. But uh, I love Vina, and I appreciate her dedication for that many years for the whole public schools and all she's done for this community and this school district. Thank you. Really, I just echo all what they said. You know, she taught me a lot, especially with. Brother talks about no rubber stamping. You know, she definitely taught me to speak up when you thought something wasn't being done right. And, and I looked at her a lot like Mr. Buck when we used to go on uh, the National School Board Conference. I was, I was Mr. Buck's right hand man. I had to make sure he got him where he wanted to go and, and make sure he got to the airplane and, and to the bus transportation. But I tried to take care of her when she started having difficulties getting out. I tried to make sure she got up here, she got down. And, but she's 35 years on school board. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can come close to that. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but that's an amazing, amazing, amazing lady. So, and she definitely cared about our kids in our district. And I, I hope that's what most everybody on this board search for, our kids first. Uh, so, but thank you. She loved, she loved the woman. She always asked about my kids and my wife all the time. So, thank you. So I think I would make the motion, Mr. President, that we approve the resolution as presented with any uh, additions, uh, appropriate additions that are approved by the family and uh, make that the final resolution uh, once it's completed. It's, it's been moved by Mr. Power, second by Ms. Moss, and we accept the resolution as printed with any necessary change that may need to be made appropriate to what the family's wishes are. Uh, those in favor, show by some hand. And we are unanimous. 
Ms. Harris, thank you so very much for sharing her with us. Now, okay. Okay. She talked about y'all. She loved all y'all. She said yes. y'all. She, she didn't. She didn't agree with everything. Or that. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She did speak on them. She didn't. They had nothing bad about saying either one of y'all. So she, she, uh, she, she really loved y'all and loved what she did. So I think she loved my wife more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 